I think that uh, one of the big questions, Gina, you, you touched on this a little bit about the notion that startups and other companies can actually gain a competitive advantage by adopting the cloud and, and running on the cloud. And it seems to me that you know the cloud is still not exactly where bigger enterprises maybe want it to be, but it's good enough uh, for certain types of uh, uses and also for maybe smaller companies. Um, but if, if Gina or you know really the, the, the whole panel could address, you know, from a, from the point of view of, of uh, startups and companies that want to build on top of the cloud, especially in this economic environment. It seems like there is an opportunity to gain competitive advantage by offering services that are at lower cost and maybe with more functionality features than uh, people who are doing it the old way. Uh, and also, I'd just like to note uh, for the uh, everyone in the audience there, um, this thing is being streamed, and, and we I've been watching the numbers, and there's been about really consistently about 1,500 people watching the, the live stream on the web. So uh, you know, I don't know how many people are in that audience, but it's uh, multiples of that online. But anyway, for, to the question, can you get to the competitive advantage issue? Well, I certainly think just in terms of speed to market, the fact that you're spending the first six months of your new startup actually working on your prototype, or, or even better, working on your actual application, um, instead of actually you know creating a PowerPoint presentation and spending a lot of time on Sand Hill Road. I, I just think it's, it's obvious. Um, and I think you know it, it, it's very clear that um, you know startups today versus startups even two or three years ago, they're using a combination of all of these things, depending on what their goals are, depending on what the application or the problem that they're trying to solve, um, and that you know on, on some level, if you're not actually taking advantage of um, the leading edge of what is available, just getting a company off the ground, uh, you're getting in your own way. I'm sorry. Uh, the startup scenario is the is one of the key scenarios that we designed Windows Azure for, um, and the and the and the key thing is that when if you have two guys in a dorm trying to uh, build the next do the next startup, you want to take away from them all the headache of buying the hardware, and and that has been achieved by commoditizing compute and and storage. But in addition, we also provide full management of those services because. That's just half of the battle. The other half of the battle comes out is, what about the headache of um, you know, upgrading the, the OS, the patching of the OS, the upgrading of the software? How do you make sure that how many instances that you have on your front end are exactly, if one goes down, how do you automatically go manage those things out? And in Windows Azure, we try to solve, to take all those headaches away and try to manage that. So the key goal is to really allow the, the software developers to focus majority of their effort on the application itself, and which results into you know how fast they can go to market, and uh, they don't require as much uh, capital expenditure and things like that to, to uh, enter the market for. Actually, one more thing. To state the obvious, the other thing about what's happening in the cloud today is distribution. So I mean, when you create, to, to Mike's point, when you create a Facebook app, you actually are, are getting distribution for that in a way that, again, wasn't possible without the cloud and without the different applications as well as infrastructure that you're seeing here. So, you know, and, and that's going to just continue to get both on some level easier and on some level harder um, as the, the cloud continues to mature um, because more people can create applications um, and that the idea actually becomes the most important thing. Is it something that connects with people? In a way that they want to consume it and they want to use it, and um, and getting all of these different pieces, whether it's the infrastructure as well as, well as distribution, getting it right up front. The great news is that it's going to be a lot cheaper and a lot faster, um, but it, it's also going to require a company and a startup to navigate a more crowded market space. Right. Keep in mind it. it going after an application or a service, it's it's the innovation, it's the user experience. The user doesn't care that it's in a cloud. The user, I mean, you care because you want it to be cheaper and you want it to be able to scale and not fail, but the user doesn't care. It just better be a really awesome service, and that's what you've got to start with. The cloud, cloud's just a buzzword. How many of you in the room here are actually Amazon customers? Well, 
uh, I made my point. It's about a third, about a third for the uh, uh, web audience. All right, uh, as you can see, we've just scratched the surface and uh, this is an enormous uh, transformation that we're going through and uh, I want to thank everybody who showed up for this. Uh, I, I'd normally give uh, Mark Benioff the last word, but I think he got the first word. <laughs>